Hey everyone, Steve again with uh, yet another <laughs> uh, Unity Asset Store review. Like I said, I got a lot of them coming, so brace yourselves. Um, <clears throat> this one we're going to be looking at today is the Z Low Poly Cave Path from Zavos. And if you're wondering why I'm saying it that way, if you go to the Asset Store page, you'll see. The way that the developer spelled it, that's where they decided to put the exclamation. So uh, I'm not just being silly, that's just how they did it. So, just like ours, we're going to hop right in here. I put my uh, favored camera down in there, or a camera, my favored controller right in there, dropped it in, and uh, um, just push play. Now, I do want to point out, one of my complaints, so this, this asset retails for $25. Overall, I think it's actually an exceptional asset. I think it's worth every penny. I will point out, though, one of my complaints... <laughs> When I first dropped the camera in, um, uh, I pushed play and I fell right through all the mesh. Uh, it's because there was no colliders on anything. There were no, um, I, I, there, there was no way for the uh, camera or the actual game, or the actual controller, my God, I'm having trouble with words today, the controller to know that it should not fall through the floor. So I had to manually add in um, colliders to literally everything. That was annoying, not going to lie. Uh, but having said that, eh, whatever. For 25 bucks, I, I, I'm not going to nitpick over it. Um, there is one area in this particular scene that I'll point out when I get to it that no matter how many times I added a collider to it, it just wouldn't actually take and I still fall through the floor. But we'll, we will get to that when the time comes. Um, aside from that, uh, the scale seems a little, like a little small. Um, I could be wrong, but the, like when I walk through the bridges, the scale does seem just a little, a little too small. Um, again, it could just be me. Uh, but, but the scale does seem a little a little wonky. Uh, not wonky, but just a little off. Um, the way that the developer modularized the asset, and just like always after we get done with this particular you know, run through, we will go into the, uh, the prefab manifest uh, scene. But I'll point this out when we get there, but all of the um, cave modularized cave pieces, <laughs> Can be rotated and flipped to do things like this where this particular piece could be used as like a side to side or could be used as a pipe like a you know chimney outside so to speak a natural chimney so i actually think they did a really fantastic job of modularizing this particular asset um, when it comes to just all the stuff involved and, and like i said we'll dive a little bit deeper into that when we get to um, the actual uh, uh, the actual manifest um, scene, but they have some nice little. I notice they've got some fog particle effects in here. They've got some uh, you know fire particle effects. They've got some other particle effects in different areas that will I'll show off in a little bit, like right here and in the last bridge. They've got some just I mean they're they're basic particle particle effects, but it's nice to just have that pre-done for you, you know, in there, if you just want to rip it out and not have to think too hard about doing your own particle effects. Um, like, the way that the modularity on this one was done really allows you to get incredibly creative and make pretty unique scenes with the same general set of um, pieces. So here is another example of why I say I think the scale may be a little wonky, because I can't really walk up them without strafing, which to me would would entail that the stairs are a little too big big for scale, which is what it is. I'm not gonna nitpick that. I'm not gonna complain about it. Again, for 25 bucks, you get a lot of stuff in here, and and it's it's not worth nitpicking over those little things. But I do just want to point that out. Yeah, and then the particle effect up there on the lights, those little bugs. Um, Lots of little rocks and stuff. There's lots of level clutter. Lots and lots of uh, lots and lots of level clutter, um, which 
you've watched my previous videos, uh, especially the Cintiq uh, Studios Apoca, the Apocalypse package, you'll know that I, I kind of get a, a weird, you know, a weird uh, boner, for lack of a better term, for, uh, you know, level clutter and things that really make my level design feel like oh, the world is lived in. Um, <clears throat> so th this, I mean, the amount of just clutter that they have and, and whatnot in here is, is pretty solid. Um, so I do think that that's worth it. There's uh, definitely the ability to, so we, we've seen a couple of different cave quote unquote biomes for lack of a better term um, now, but there's even more. So they did a pretty decent job of like, you know, having the ability to have different, you know, style of cave or different, you know, biome in biomes in the cave. Um, but just like, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of clutter. And then, yeah, like I said, most of you probably know that I, 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 I have a hard on for clutter. So, uh, yeah, this one definitely ticks that box. And at 25 bucks, uh, I, I, you are going to find, you're going to have a difficult time finding another package. Oh, almost fell to the floor. Uh, that has as much clutter as this one does, um, for, for that price. I mean, even there is subtle, but there's broken barrels, um, <clears throat> you know, stools, pots. We saw some of the tools already, but I mean, just the, just the sheer amount of clutter that's actually part of what's causing some some problems with the uh character controller getting caught on some stuff and like i said the scale i think being a little bit off so he, right here where i'm about to go i'm gonna fall through the floor and and i don't know i really don't know why that happens there um it's i've tried to fix that and i think there's probably just some artifact within the scene itself that's preventing the the collider from actually taking again not gonna lose sleep over it because i did test it where i popped a collider onto the prefab that is that part and put it into another scene and it works fine so i think there's something about this particular scene there's some artifact that just isn't isn't playing nice so that's the end of the run through of the demo scene. Let's hop out into the uh, prefab manifest list and just take a look at that. Nope. There we go. <laughs> uh, so right off the bat, you see that there's let me do this. There's a number of different cave pathway uh, uh, sections, and they all kind of blend together with this it's almost like a blunderbuss right so you can put them together and because you're not you're not really meant to see these from the outside it doesn't matter if there's some overlap on one part of the blunderbuss and another part of the blunderbuss so by and large there may be some like dipping down when you put the pieces together like the the this part like this part may kind of overlap with if you're fusing with this part it might kind of overlap with that but all in all it's going to be a fairly seamless um fairly seamless uh uh connection um and then so this is a good example so here this is the this is uh that particular you know um uh path that i pointed out earlier uh, and you'll see that there's that part. I mean, you could rotate this on its side and use this as a three, <laughs> an actual three, um, you know, uh, a three pathway, you know, cave area. Um, so just the, the amount of thought that I feel went into making these pieces really, you know, cross compatible um with different positioning and different rotations uh and just stitching them together i think they did a just an amazing job and i do think that it is 100 percent worth the you know 25 bucks the, just the meager price that they're asking i mean it's incredible that they're asking as little as they are 
Um, I honestly think that if it were just those pieces, just the actual cave tunnel pieces, it would probably still be worth the price of admission, the 25 bucks. But you also get all of this wonderful clutter and stuff. So you got some some different rocks. Uh, um, that you can put on the ground. You've got different rocks that you can rotate and stuff like that. Uh, you've got a few different um, options for stalactites and stalagmites. And remember, I mean, that, that demo scene was a pretty robust demo scene, right? Um, I feel like they it, there was enough there where, you know, it felt fresh at most of the turns that you would take. Now, what's cool about that is that um, they just use these different stalactites and slag. Well, I mean, really, you can use these for either stalactites or stalagmites, and you know, scale them up or down, and rotate them, and and cluster them together to make really, really unique looking spaces, right? Um, these rocks as well, um, you know, uh, and then I don't. I don't remember um, yeah those didn't um, <clears throat> so uh, the the vines all modularized too you can just play with place them wherever um, I do feel like uh, the the again just the modularization that they use in here um, w was really good you know um, you know, the ability to uh, just stick these anywhere on the floor, scale them up, scale them up and down. Um, you got, you know, selection of fungi. And then you've got all of the set pieces and bridges. And, I mean, it's just, there's, I, I feel like <clears throat> this particular asset, I mean, and, and to a certain degree with the BK assets, too, I feel like they are woefully underpriced. Uh, you know, the, again, this is 25 bucks. Like, look at just all the stuff you get with 25 bucks. Like, it is incredible the amount of set pieces. I'm going to go over here because it's going to be easier. So you got your chain links, different variants of chain links. You have the ropes. Um, Tattered cloths, stairs, walls. It's got that cool little dragon. Lots of rocks, lots of glowing rocks, if you will. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's just it's it's it is an incredibly cheap uh, asset for everything that you get. Um, and as a level designer, you know, you can do a lot with this package. And I think it's 25 bucks well spent. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this particular asset. Uh, again, I think it's well worth the price. I, I, I think it's woefully criminally underpriced. <laughs> um, I, 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 I think that it should honestly be more, but it's only 25 bucks. So yeah, I mean, yeah, very, very worth the price of admission. Um, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you if you got this one yourself, if you think that, you know, do you agree with me or not? Um, and if you haven't gotten it yet and it interests you, please consider using the link in the description. Like I said, I, like I've said in previous videos, I, um, I buy all these assets in my own dime. And uh, in order for me to truly keep things on bias. Um, I don't want to take on sponsors or anything like that. Not that they would have me at this point anyway, but the point is, is that I don't ever want to do that. <laughs> so I want to be able to keep um, this as unbiased as possible. Um, and if you buy the asset through the link in the description, I get a small percentage of that sale and it helps me be able to keep these videos free and free of bias and, and just free of all that. So Please, if you buy it, buy it through that link. And uh, let me, like I said, let me know in the description, or so let me know in the comments, rather, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you like it, uh, if you want to see more. I, I have thousands and thousands of other assets that I'm going to be doing reviews on over the 
next you know while so keep an eye out for those and i will see everyone on the next one